Welcome to the Java JDK installation lesson. In this lesson, you'll learn about the JDK from Amazon called Amazon Corretto and how to install that JDK on your machine. For this course, I selected JDK version 8, even though there are later versions of the JDK out there. And I know this goes against what we've been wired and trained to do, and that is to install the latest version of each software. However, with JDKs, it can be really tricky. The idea is to install the version of the JDK that works well for your scenario. And our scenario involves the installation of several other open source software. And I tested all of that with JDK 8, and it works perfectly. Now that we have established the Java JDK version, we need to decide which vendor we're going to use. And we have a lot of options. I mean, Amazon makes one. We all know about Oracle. SAP also makes one. IBM also makes one, and many more. But for this course, I want us to use the Amazon Corretto 8 JDK. Okay, enough with the introduction, let's get started. Open up a terminal window and check if you have any JDK installed on your computer. Since I don't have a JDK installed on my computer, I get this pop-up to install the Oracle Java JDK. If I already had a JDK installed on my computer, I would not get this option. Now don't get me wrong, the Oracle JDK will work, but I prefer to use the Amazon Corretto JDK. And so, let's just click OK here in order to decline the Oracle JDK. Instead, I want to go into a web browser and type Amazon Corretto to pull up the Google search results for Amazon Corretto. Now select the first link, and once you get to the page for the Corretto JDK, Select Amazon Corretto 8. Since I'm using a Mac computer, I want to look for the package installation file. That way I can just click on it to download it and then install it. And with that, you should have Amazon JDK installed on your computer. Now go back to the terminal window and issue the command Java version to check if you have the JDK installed. You should see the Amazon Corretto 8 JDK has been installed. Next, let's check to make sure the Java compiler is also at level 8. You can do this using the javac-version command. At this point, let me show you other ways you can check the Java JDK version. All these commands also give you similar information. Let's copy this path. I'll show you how we use it later in this video. Now that we have confirmed that we have installed the JDK, let's configure our environment. And to do this, we need to open up the bash underscore profile file and set up an environment variable in there. That environment variable is java underscore home, and we want to make it equal to the link that we copied earlier. Once this is done, please go ahead and exit the file. One important callout is that every time you make a change to the bash underscore profile file, that change will only apply to new terminal windows. To make it apply to the current terminal window that you're in, you have to issue the source command. With this, the changes we made to the bash underscore profile file will apply to this terminal window. Now to wrap up, let's just double confirm, or should I say triple check, that we still have the JDK installed. Although we don't expect it to go anywhere, it does not hurt to check. In conclusion, in this lesson, you have learned about Amazon Corretto JDK and how to install that JDK on your machine. 